Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today I've got a Turbo NAS, a QNAT1 TS-253 Pro. I'm just going to show you how to install the hard drives which are here into it. Um, I've also done an unboxing of this uh, NAS device, so please click on the link on screen at the moment. Now, as always, follow these steps at your own risk and please take anti-static precautions. Now, the NAS itself, is just a two bay NAS and it's got two um, bays there so you just pull the little lever up and the bays themselves will come out. Now you'll maybe hard to see but we've got um, the ability to put a, oh, it's probably better this side, to put a five and a half or a two and a half inch drive in here so we've got the two and a half inch screws there as we can see and then the five ones on the edges. So what I'll do, I'll just open up, I'm just using uh, Western Digital uh, Reds, which are NAS um, specific devices or drives. So just open them up. And the disc itself will fit in nicely with the connectors at the back there. So what we just have to do is screw in, just put that to one side screw in the four um, hole um, screws now the package itself comes with screws so I'm just trying to find where I put them so as always they can be a pain to open So once you've got the screws, just screw them in and so that's quite easy this little bit. Probably use a different screwdriver. So once all they're in tight, we just get the actual unit itself back, make sure it all lines up the same way, and slide it in. And then make sure you click it into place. Now for the other one, it's just exactly the same, just remove the actual drive bay. Just so I know, the package itself comes with some black screws and some silver screws. It looks like I used the wrong screws on the last one. So we'll go for the black screws this time. Uh, the silver screws I should say this time. And just line up the holes. So that's quite simple. And the unit itself comes with a quick start guide which goes through this. So there we are, that's all screwed in, make sure it's all tight. Get the unit back, make sure you put in the same way and just slide it in. There we go. So once we've done all that, what you have to do is get the power plug the power into here and then into the wall socket and also plug in at least one um, ethernet cable preferably in the number one port plug that in and you can then go follow your quick start guide that just shows you how to uh, do install the hard drives on that side and on this side it tells you how to plug it all in turn it on and then go to start.qnap.com in a web browser and, I, and enter your cloud key. Now your cloud key is actually written on the side of the device on this side. I won't show you mine. Um, but there it is. Just enter your cloud key and it should be able to set it all up for you from there. Have any questions, please leave them in the field below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.